Do you know that in 2019, 8,810 people in Italy died because of various liver ailments? Likewise, in the United Kingdom the death toll due to liver cirrhosis, was 4,104 in 2017. The problem is that liver diseases start with some silent signals, which people are not aware of and generally it gets worse every day, increasing the fatality of the problem. Why is the liver so important you may ask? The explanation to this question is science-backed. The liver is the largest internal organ of the body and is almost the size of a punctured football. Just like its size, its functions are also bigger. For example, the liver detoxifies the blood, synthesizes several blood proteins, and stores energy-producing substances of the body like glycogen and glucose. Therefore, any malfunction in the liver can damage the entire body's systems. Now, let's start with the list. Sign number 8. Fatigue. Fatigue is one of the most underrated signals that people usually ignore. But, studies tell us that fatigue or physical stress is the starting signal of almost 60% of the diseases. But, here's a question. Why do we feel tired when our liver is not working right? The answer to this question is still under observation and no obvious cause is detected yet. But scientists believe that fatigue is caused when the brain receives abnormal nerve impulses from any of the body organs. This means that in case of any problem with our internal body organs, the first thing we may experience is a fatigue and tired body. So, again, you have to check whether you have other symptoms of liver disease or not to identify the cause of fatigue you are experiencing. Sign number 7. Nausea. The liver functions to remove the metabolic wastes from the blood which eventually change into the waste material and are excreted from the body. A poor liver functions badly in this area and the blood is not cleaned properly. Therefore, this ongoing accumulation of wastes in the body cells increases the digestive stress and stomach systems are badly affected. Long-term nausea is one of the early symptoms of liver disease. Only if you have other liver disease symptoms. Studies found a link between frequent vomiting and liver diseases. But no clear cause of this ailment is detected yet. Sign number 6. Poor bowel function. Just like nausea, the stomach upsets, leads to other gut diseases. Like diarrhea, constipation, or IBS which is irritable bowel syndrome. The other liver disease symptoms accompanied by gut disease symptoms can be a clear sign of malfunctioned liver. For example, frequent cramping, bloating gas, pale stool, etc. Like, if your stools are clay-colored then it can be a sign of a biliary flaw in your body. You might wonder what a biliary flaw is. Our liver, gallbladder, and pancreas are responsible for the secretion and processing of a digestive juice called bile juice. It softens the lipids of the body and helps in their digestion. A malfunctioned liver does not produce bile juice and thus lipids are not digested. They either stick inside the body organs as fats, or directly pass out from the body as undigested wastes. This changes the color of the feces. Sign number 5. Color of urine. Urine color is one of the most common symptoms of liver illness. The liver breaks down a yellowish pigment called lilirubin. It is produced during the breakdown of red blood cells and is excreted from the body after passing from the liver in the form of broken molecules. But, in liver disease, the liver does not break it down normally and it increases in blood. This result in dark brown, cola-colored urine which is an obvious symptom that the liver or bile duct is not functioning properly. Sign number four, low or high appetite. Not having a normal appetite can be a clear signal that your liver is struggling. How? Let's check. The liver converts the glucose into glycogen and when needed converts glycogen into glucose. This process maintains the blood sugar and regulates the appetite level of the body. A malfunctioned liver is not able to proceed with this glucose-glycogen conversion. 
That is why either patient does not feel hungry at all or they feel hungry all the time. If the liver does not convert excess glucose into glycogen, the body does not feel hungry because we only feel hungry. When the blood glucose level falls below 0.06%. On the other hand, if the liver does not convert glycogen into glucose, the food sugar does not dissolve in the blood. Because the blood takes the sugar only in the form of glucose. And blood without glucose sends hunger signals to the brain. Even if your stomach is full. Therefore, the patient eats again and again but this food only increases the fat of the body and does not provide energy to the organs. Sign number three, punching pain in the abdomen. Pains are the symptoms of any type of disease. Thus liver diseases also come up with pain. But this pain is quite different from others. Liver pain is called punching pain because it looks like you've got a boxer's punch in your abdomen. It's a throbbing or stabbing pain sensation that occurs on the right side of the abdomen just below the ribs. The pain can be accompanied by swelling or redness in that certain area, which means that your liver is inflamed. So, if you are experiencing such pain in your abdomen, consult your doctor quickly. Sign number two, swelling. Swelling is the biggest symptom of liver disease. It can be anywhere in the body because the liver functions to remove excess fluids from the body and controls the lymph system up to an extent. Therefore, the removal of excess liquid wastes from all body cells is due to the liver. While due to a malfunctioned liver, the body cells retain the excessive fluid and get enlarged. That is why unusual swelling is a direct link to liver diseases. The most common places of swelling in liver problems are ankles feet, neck, hands, and especially the abdomen. Because the liver is located in the abdomen and most of the excess fluid accumulates there. On one we have diabetes. Well, this disease is not only a direct symptom of the liver problem, but also, if accompanied by any of the symptoms listed before, there is a fair chance that your liver is suffering from some unnatural conditions. That is why the importance of this disease increases. Diabetes is the most common illness all over the world. And you will be sad to hear that there is no cure for diabetes. Hopeful researches have been done but still, the results are not promising. As we all know that diabetes is caused when insulin production deters in the body. Insulin is produced by the liver. So it clearly gives a clue of liver discomfort which might increase later on, if not treated carefully. So, now you know the symptoms but what if you found out that you are matching some of the symptoms of liver ailment? The simple answer is, consult your doctor. Liver malfunctioning is an emergency and can be life-threatening if not treated timely. That's it for this video. Hope it was helpful for you. With that said, stay safe. Take care of your body and we'll meet you in the next video.